Well, actually, we don't just see a tail. In the latest images, we see uh, of all the seven jets coming from the uh, surface of, of the central object, uh, some of them towards the sun, some of them away from the sun. What surprises me is that they are tightly collimated. Uh, and that is surprising because the object is rotating. The last time we checked, it has a rotation period of only 16 hours. And uh, that, uh, the, the length of these jets is a million kilometers. You would expect that uh, the material making up these jets uh, had to go across that distance over a period of a month. Uh, given the typical speed of outflows from comets. And uh, during a month, it would have been smeared by the rotation mm. of the object. So then the question is, what is going on? Uh, one possibility is that it's only the uh, pockets of ice facing the sun that are getting warmed up, but we see uh, jets going on the opposite direction, away from the sun. Another possibility is that perhaps the object broke up and what we see is the trail of material uh, from the fragments flying out. But the problem is that uh, we got the latest image and it looks like a single object in the middle. So we don't know what is going on. Of course, it's possible also that, uh, that these are thrusters from a technological object that are used to maneuver uh, or navigate. And obviously, in that case, uh, they will maintain their orientation. So the verdict is still out. And I'm very much looking forward to getting more data in the coming weeks. You know, that's the way science should be done. It's like a detective story. Mm -hmm. And any of my colleagues who claims to know that it's a comet uh, of a type that is familiar to us, you know, is not really curious or imaginative.